good Netlinked watchers. You may notice we're not in our studio today. We're in a different studio, one belonging to Piranha Games, the developer of MechWarrior Online. We're here shooting a bit of a different video than the ones we usually do, telling the story of how these guys reinvigorated the MechWarrior franchise. So stay tuned for that video. And if you're watching this after we've published it, you can click here to go there. Uh, but for now, we got to get some tech news going here. In a surprise announcement, NVIDIA has revealed its Pascal-based Titan graphics card. It's called the NVIDIA Titan X. Not to be confused with the Maxwell-based GeForce GTX Titan X. No, 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 no. NVIDIA has apparently foregone the GeForce branding for this one. The card is expected to boast around 60% faster performance than the GTX 1080. Specs include a whopping 3,584 CUDA cores, 12 billion transistors, and 12 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory, which help the card get up to 11 teraflops of single precision performance. Uh, Interesting. So what will all this cost you? A paltry 12,000 bucks US. I mean, they might as well have charged a little extra to pay for a new name. I guess all the cool letters were taken, so you just reused one. Well, now it's less cool, so. After hearing so much about internet providing autonomous drones and balloons and whatnot over the past year, today Facebook announced its Aquila drone has completed its first test flight. The solar-powered aircraft flew for 96 minutes while its engineers performed tests on the ground. 96 minutes actually seems pretty short considering Aquila is intended to fly for two months continuously, but Facebook says they've got it figured out. Hopefully they've also got their internet restrictions figured out for the areas they'll be supplying internet to because they got kicked out of India for net neutrality stuff. And Ivan got kicked out of this office for pulling these crazy hijinks. And Intel's upcoming Kaby Lake processors have begun shipping to device makers this week. The new CPUs are the first to break away from Intel's TikTok model of chip design, which they announced they'd be ending this year. Kaby Lake will be the third chip made on the 14 nanometer process, and the last one before Intel jumps to 10 nanometer with Cannon Lake in 2017. With chips being sent out now, it won't be long before we see them pop up in laptops and desktop systems soon, and I think that's a great thing for all of us. It's time for... Keys is said disegno. Oh, and also quick bits. Ah, disegno. Nicola, thank you for correcting my mistake. And might I say, your accent is like a massage for the ears. If you guys want to see yourselves on Netlink, send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits. Reviews for the Moto Z are up. Yes, I said Z for you Americans. You're welcome. And while the regular Moto Z and the Moto Z Force don't have a headphone jack, it appears that the Moto Z Play does. Huawei sued Samsung a while back, and now Samsung is welcoming it to the big boys club by suing them right back. Ooh, they're just friends. They're, they're playing. Speaking of Samsung, the company says it fixed the problems with the Galaxy S7 Active's waterproofing, so it's definitely waterproof now. Definitely. And Apple also has a Titan, that is, Project Titan, its mysterious electric car project, but a new report says the vehicle's release date has been delayed to 2021. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. If a Witcher watcher could watch Witchers, a Witcher watcher would watch Witchers as much as a Witcher watcher. It's so obvious. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the NCX newsletter, don't forget that you could win an ASUS RT AC3100 dual band wireless router. That's a mouthful. Just what you wanted for Christmas, simply by signing up. If you're already subscribed, claim your newsletter points for this month and you're also entered. It's very, it's very simple. Click here or the link, whoops, click here or the link in the description for details. Just click anywhere, whatever floats your boat. Hey guys, Julia back at the blue wall here with a little quick announcement. If you've seen yesterday's Netlink, you know we announced the Steam gift card giveaway, but we've got a little correction on there. So make sure if you want to enter, you share this video or yesterday's video, either one works, with at NCIX Tech Tips and use hashtag Intel Rig Challenge. That will enter you to win one of five hundred dollar Steam gift cards. And we will be picking a winner at random in 72 hours and we will announce it next week on Netlink.
not only will it enter you to win one of five Steam gift cards, it will also enter you in the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge, which means you are entered to win one of seven custom gaming PCs, and each of these PCs features at least a 750 series SSD and an Intel Core i7-6950X Extreme processor. Make sure you vote. Information's here. Right here, you can win this and one of seven rigs. And there's always a link down below if you need more info. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, we've got some stuff to shoot, as I mentioned before. I'd love to stand here talking about tech news all day, but I can't because my feet would start to hurt. So see ya. If a Witcher watcher could watch Witchers, a Witcher watcher would watch Witchers as much as a Witcher watcher. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I thought there was more to it. <laughs>